Hello there, gals and pals. Um, I figured it was a really good time to talk about plants. I get questions almost daily on my Instagram about plants, how to take care of this, what's wrong with this plant, but I also get some really fun things sent to me like, this reminded me of you, which, that really melts my heart. But today, I figured it would be a good time to talk about how I care for my plants. Um, I have quite a few and it is February. So I do a little bit of extra care starting in February. The growing season for my plants is from like August to the end of January, beginning of February. And then from February to July, they're pretty dormant. They don't really give me much production. So I kind of treat that as my winter time. And I do supplement with, um, I'll show you. I supplement with this Espoma organic indoor plant food. And it's been great. I've used it for, this will be my third year using it. This will be my third year using it. So highly recommend, I get mine on Amazon, uh, but you can pretty much get it anywhere. Sometimes they have it at Walmart. My Walmart doesn't carry it, but it's pretty great. All you have to do is mix it with water and then water your plants. And I only use this like every other month during the dormant season. So I'll use it now and then I'll use it in April and then I'll use it in July and then I'll be done. It gives a little boost to the plants, gives them a little uh, nutrition, especially if you're not changing their soil regularly, regularly. And a lot of my plants don't need their soil changed or like don't need repotted. So they're not getting their soil changed. So supplementing with some uh, delicious food for them is quite beneficial. We have lots to do today. I have to take care of dead leaves. I have to take care of some stems. I don't have any repotting to do today. It's not on my list today. Um, I do have some clippings I need to do. And then we're also going to do a craft with one of my Monstera leaves that's just been hanging on. <laughs> He's been hanging on, but we're gonna spray paint him and uh, see how that turns out. So let's get into it. This is Memphis. Um, he is my monstera plant and he is massive and we have some things we need to do today. First of all, we need to dust his leaves. We need to clip all these roots off. We need to get rid of some dying leaves. Um, I normally don't leave these on once they start because you don't want them to pull the nutrients. Like you want it to go to the other, you know, the other leaves and stems. But for the sake of this video, I left it, I left them on so that you could see what I do. So let's take care of him. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clip off all of the nasty things that we don't want anymore. I'm gonna start with the leaves and then we'll move on to the stems. This leaf here has been broken for quite a while and he's a little bit tattered, but we're gonna try to revive him today. So I'm gonna cut him off because I'm not gonna clean him later. So we're gonna cut him at the base here. And I'm just gonna store him up here for now. Also, if you have cats, you wanna be careful and like dispose of these right away because it's the sap that will hurt the cats more than any, anything. So my cats are good around plants. They don't really bug them, but you wanna make sure that the sap doesn't get places because if they tend to lick that up, that can be the dangerous part. Okay, now we're gonna cut the roots. Monstera plants, their roots get out of hand and I have not cut him since I brought him here. And he's starting to get stuck under the wheels uh, when we move him. So I am going to get rid of some of these. Again, sap, put it up away from your cats. And these are just air roots. It's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt your plant to get rid of them. He's going to get repotted this spring, but today is not the day.
Now that I've gotten rid of everything that I wanna get rid of, I'm going to take a damp flour sack towel and I'm gonna clean his leaves off. I do this about every six months. I try to do it in the winter and then in the summer. Also, I think this is pretty common knowledge, but don't use any dusting, like, you know, like pledge or anything on your plants. It's not good for them. Just water, just water, a damp towel. Ooh, and also don't use a Swiffer thingy. I've seen people do that. No, no, don't do that. This is like your plant's favorite time of the year. So talk nice things to it. Tell him how great of a job he's doing. Tell him how handsome he is how much joy he brings to your life. Tell him you love him. Oh, Memphis, you are so handsome to me in every way. You're just growing so big, buddy. I found another leaf I want to get rid of. Two of them. This lighting is so bad, I'm so sorry. But they're starting to get that little yellow tinge to them. And there's no use in, in these using up nutrients when the rest of the plant needs them. Memphis, you're a big old handsome boy. This is all the discarded material. But I have to show you a couple of his leaves and how gorgeous they are. Look at this one. So gorgeous. I'm gonna unravel him here. He got caught a little bit. Look at this one. It's like the perfect monstera leaf in the whole world. And then this one. Absolutely gorgeous. And now we're going to water him. Let's kick it. Quickly, we have to talk about water for your plants. If you have well water, use that straight out of your tap. Don't run it through a filter or anything. Your plants will love it. They will thank you. However, if you're like me and you're on a rural water system where there's a ton of chlorine and chloramides and so many nasty chemicals in your water, your plants are not gonna like that. So make sure you have a good filtration system, um, which we do, we actually, have like a massive um, water filtering tank for chlorines and chloramides. And then we also have one obviously in our refrigerator. I could get it out of my tap directly if I wanted to because we do have a point of entry um, water filter system. However, I like that extra, extra little boost of filtration so I am going to use my refrigerator water. First things first is you're gonna mix a half of a cap to a quart of water. Also, this stuff does not smell very good. Just, just, be, just be warned. So I have a quart here and I'm gonna put a half in here and now I'm gonna fill it with water. Now that I have this filled, I'm going to pour it into my watering can and I'm gonna keep mixing until I get a full watering can. This normally takes about two and a half quarts and I just continue to do this and I always put it in my watering can because I have so many plants that this would last like one and maybe a half of a plant. So I'm just gonna transfer this in and I'm just gonna go ahead and mix up another batch. Also, it does help if you have the time to let your water kind of come to room temperature don't have to but it's not as big of a shock to your plants that way up to you keep in mind this is not something I do every time I water my plants I water my plants every seven to ten days and there are a couple that I have to water more than that but rough estimate seven to ten days 
And then I only do this three times a year. So I'll do it, like I said, February, and then I'll do it in April, and then I'll do it in June, right? Yeah. So I know a lot of people who do this six to eight months out of the year, and they do it like every month. Um, my plants don't need that, thankfully. But like I said, I only do this three times a year. So it's a little bit of a hassle, but it's only three times a year. Now we're gonna give Memphis a nice water bath. So I use about a half of this, which is essentially like a quart of water. Uh, sometimes a little bit more, it just depends on how much he needs. And he's very dry today, so. I'm gonna give him a little soak like that and let it kind of sink in. Also, um, my big plants like this, I like to keep on a roller so that they're easy to move. And then at the bottom, I have a saucer so that the water doesn't leak out onto something. It just leaks into here if there is any, but I'm pretty good at knowing how much they need each time. So normally don't get too much of an accumulation, but once in a while. So he soaked that right up. So he's gonna probably take about a quart and a half of water today. The last time I watered him was nine days ago. And there, he's good to go. Sorry for the noise, but the blower on the heater won't turn off. I turned the heater off because I'm gonna spray paint, but this is the project I'm talking about. So I have Two, I chose two monstera leaves and I'm going to spray paint them black. This will preserve the leaves for six months up to a year. And they're just cute as decoration. So I'm gonna do it. I've never done it before. I've only seen it done before. And it's, it's my time. This is Mescales, he also needs some stuff taken off of him and watered and good to go. So I'm just gonna show you the process. I decided to cut this whole palm off. The one other thing I want to point out about Mescales is he does have a grow light. I turn him on once in a while. He's my most finicky plant because he belongs in the tropics and we are not in the tropics here. So I just try to take extra care of him. As you can see, he does have another leaf that is starting to brown. And this is normal, like that's, that's what they're meant to do. Plants are supposed to rid of their old leaves and get new ones. And as you can see, we're getting a new one here that should be unfolding soon. And then we also have another little one here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but there he is. He's a little finicky, but I love him. And I take extra special care of him because he's named after the town where our familia uh, resides. He took about a quart of water today but he often needs watered between my every seven to 10 days. He normally only makes it about five days tops. So he is one of my plants that gets watered like twice a week. Now I'm gonna take these plants and this one and this one, and I'm going to put them in the sink and get them watered. Um, my string of pearls only get watered every two weeks and this one doesn't look like it needs it actually, so I might leave him there, but this one does need a little bit of watering. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I don't normally take him down to water. I have a uh, saucer underneath his, his pot there, um, but about once a month I take him down and give him a good bottom water, which he needs today. So we're gonna do just that.
I'm going to water all of these on the top a little bit. Um, my Hoya and my Marble Queen Pothos I have put into a uh, bowl so that they can bottom water with just regular tap water as well. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Turn this on and get a room temperature temp. And I'm just going to put this in the bottom. I'm just going to let this fill up a little bit. And then I'm going to take my plant food and I'm going to water them like I normally would. With my string of pearls, I'm going to just use regular tap water and make sure to get his beads. And then I'm going to grab a bowl and place him in there and give him some plant food. This allows him to suck it back up after it runs through because it's just draining right through. And I'm going to do the same thing with my cacti. Just a little spritz of water because he's sensitive. This sweet guy needs replanted so bad. He's growing so many little fingerlings. And then I'm just going to give him some plant food. And of course it's gonna go right through too, but this way, since it's in a bowl, it'll allow it to suck up some moisture. Now I know you didn't see how much water was in here before, but these two are sucking up quite a bit of water. So I'm going to remove the Marble Queen Pothos and let her drain over here. And let's see how heavy he is right now. Uh, he could use a little bit more sucking up. I think these guys have sucked up everything they're going to suck up. Now these two are plant food in the bottom here. So I'm just going to remove and remove this guy and combine this and I'm going to use this in a different plant. Now my plants are healthy. So if you have a new plant and you are going to do this, I do not recommend it, but my plants have been in my home for a long time. They are bug free and so I'm not worried about it, but uh, just, just be cautious. And I'm gonna remove this guy, how's he feeling? Yeah, he feels like he soaked some moisture up. And then this was just water and a little bit of plant food, so I am gonna save this and use it on something else, but it's not very concentrated in plant food, so just keeping that in mind. I'm gonna let these drain for a little bit. Egypt is my fig, and he needs his leaves clean today, and he needs a good old watering, but other than that, he's good. I need to find a way to stabilize him. I think we're going to have to put something into the wall to hold him up. He is about 10 feet tall and just growing like a weed. If you notice me wiggling his leaves, um, that's really good for a fig because it helps stimulate the trunk to grow bigger and stronger and wider. And uh, because these plants are inside, they don't get the elements of like the wind and stuff. And that is what helps them grow big and strong trunks. So you wanna try to simulate that in here. It's not the same, but it does help a little bit. This big old guy takes about two quarts of water every seven to 10 days. I've taken all of these plants over here and they are ready to be taken care of. Uh, this guy is dry as a bone, so he's gonna get a little bit of soaking in here. Also, so is my string of turtles. Another one of my very hard plants to take care of. And all of these leaves are gonna get cleaned as well. As you can see, um, this is my Chinese money plant right? Is that what it's called? I believe so. And he's growing a pup. I'm not going to remove him yet because he doesn't need uh, replanted yet. But this was one of his pups um, in 2021 that I removed. So these are really cool because they're called the friendship plant. You can like take a pup, replant it, and then give it to a friend, which I think is super cute. Look 
how gorgeous this plant is. This is like my favorite leaf on this plant. This is a Philodendron Brazil plant, and I just think he is one of the most gorgeous plants ever. I'm gonna soak him in a water bath first, just for a little while. See if I can't draw up some water. I'm going to use this leftover in my alocasia. He's gonna need a little bit more. He is just running right through. So he's gonna get a soak in a little bit. Not gonna waste any more nutrients on him. All right, off he goes. Into a water bath. And now this guy can get actually watered with nutrients. He didn't soak much up, probably because of his pot. You're sure taking a lot of water. I think that's probably good. I have a Hoya, which is beautiful. I have another Marble Queen Pothos. Look at that, gorgeous. And then, I can never remember the name of this, Peperomia, possibly? And then a Calathea. So I'm gonna move all of these over to the sink and give them a good old drench. And I'm just gonna get in and remove all of these, all of the dead leaves, if there are any. There's not many in this one. But there are a few down in here, if you can see. Yep, so I'm just gonna remove these. I'm also gonna clean Hanoi, this is Hanoi. And um, let's see, this one doesn't need cleaned and the other two don't need cleaned. But I'm gonna give Hanoi a good cleaning. Also, Hanoi only gets watered every other week. And sometimes this one only gets watered every other week too. It just depends. But Hanoi's on an every other week schedule. Fun fact about this Hoya plant. This was my very first house plant. And he's never been replanted, which is pathetic. He really needs replanted this spring and he's going to get it. I just, I just love him. Look how cute. Flint doesn't take much and I try to keep it away from the base. I only give him water about every three or four weeks and I don't give him much. That is plenty. Now Missouri likes a couple waterings, so I'm going to water him really, really good and let it soak in and move on to something else and then come back in a little while. We're gonna collect him and him and him and him and him, and him, and him, and take him into the bathroom. These two don't need much water, so I'm just gonna give them a little drizzle here. Let them soak that up. And I'm also gonna water my aloe plant. Doesn't need much water again. This guy is pretty dry and he does have a saucer underneath him. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him a pretty good drench. And I see a bad leaf. Get rid of that. This Marble Queen Pothos needs a large soak. He is very dry, so I'm going to fill up with some tap water. And I'm gonna soak him before I give him a 
of water with the plant food. I'm gonna give him a good drench. I don't water him probably every three or four weeks, so he needs a good, a good watering. I'm sorry, Switzerland, but I have to say it. This is my least favorite plant. He's so hard to take care of. He's so hard to manage. He's a vining plant. He grows into my walls, which I'm okay with at this point in my life, but I know at some point I wouldn't want that. Um, so I'm just letting him dangle off the side and he needs a little bit of care today. He needs some leaves taken off. I need to do some trimmings. He needs a lot of care. All right, I got Miss Switzerland all figured out. I'm feeling a lot better about her now. She's just so hard to manage and she grows so fast. However, I cut a bunch of her tendrils off and then I started wrapping her around the banister and some are dangling free and she looks so much better and so much happier. Look at that. Look how gorgeous. Ah, okay. She may be in the running for one of my favorites now. She just looks so cool. Now I'm gonna give her a water. She takes quite a bit of water. She has a tray below her too, so she doesn't drip out, but I let that kind of soak in a little bit and then I go again. And like I said, she takes about a quart or a little bit more of water. And she gets watered weekly. So like every seven to 10 days is what I consider weekly. And we're gonna see how much water this is soaked up. Oh my God, no, like nothing. All right, so we need to work on this one a little bit. She is in water, but she's not really soaking it up. So I'm going to turn the tap on and swirl her. And really get her wet. She really needs some water. I really need to replant her the plant job that they gave her just uh, wasn't that great. There's just like not enough soil for her and it's a very like loose soil so it doesn't hold water very well which is fine for some plants but she needs some more TLC. So I'm just gonna let that soak for a little while and then I will give her an additional little drench of plant food. Okay, she's soaked up about as much water as I think she's going to, so I'm just gonna give her a spritz of this fertilizer, well, plant food, and just let her sit in it. See, she's like draining it right out, but she'll get a little bit of it. This plant I just lifted out of her hanger, but I, I kept all of the leaves through the rope. Does that make sense? So that I didn't have to pull it completely out and thread it back through and I put her in the water that drained out of her and I'm just gonna give it a good old drench and I'm probably gonna come back a couple times and water this, this little girl. This girl needs a lot of water. She needs repotted into a bigger pot so she can hold more water throughout the week but I often have to water her midway through the week. As always, I'm going to clean leaves, water, let them drain, put them back and then we're done.
I forgot Yuma over here. He's just gonna get a little sprinkle. He has rocks in the bottom of him so that it drains really well since it's a cacti and also only gets watered every three to four weeks. This was his new growth from August to I'd say about December, mid-December. It's crazy, it's about five inches. Rock on, Yuma. You do good work. This video has taken me three battery changes and three hours to film. Actually, we're at three hours and eight minutes. <laughs> but it was fun and I hope you enjoyed it. And also, I used about two thirds of this, so I am gonna have to order some more for my next um, plant watering. Well, my next plant food watering, which will be in April. Like I said, I only do this three times a year, sometimes four. And I only do like the cleaning of the plants every six months. It's just that everything happened to be today, which is why I wanted to record it for you so I could show you my winter care plan for my plants. I am not in any way a plant expert. I didn't go to school. I know nothing. I don't even research anything. This may sound very voodoo whack job-ish, but I literally <laughs> just let my plants tell me what they need. Um, I don't really research anything. Uh, yeah, I can't say I'm the best for that type of information. I just simply treat my plants with kindness because they are living just like us and we all need a little encouragement and self-love and care just like your plants do. So don't be afraid to talk to them. Don't be afraid to give them sunlight, make up songs for them. Also like get near your plants often, like touch them and move them around and, and uh, shake their leaves and like let them feel like your presence. I don't know how I keep all these plants alive with what little knowledge I have, but my heart and my soul and my intuition guide me and I love them all and they are my babies. And they bring me a lot of joy. And I tell them that, I tell them that all the time. They clean my air, they bring me joy, they're beautiful. I love the colors of them. I love seeing the growth. They're just pretty, pretty incredible things. So that's it for my winter plant care and I'll see you next time. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Help a girl out, man. <sighs> I farted. Oh, the sun, the sun, oh, the sun is right in my eyes. Oh, how am I gonna do this? This lighting is horrible. Booby, those are not for you. Hey, that's not for you. Hey, let go. Naughty, naughty, naughty. I just told them earlier that you were good to my plants. You're making me out to be a liar.